Conocieras a Susi como conozco a Susi. Steve, I love our scrambled eggs. <laughs> Had a rough time of it over the years. Chuch, mi chucho, Stephen, never went to visit her in London. And she blames me. His madre, me. <clears throat> the first time I saw Susie, there she was, running through my house. No clothes. <laughs> Just her fondijo and her tetas. Hey, who was this racy girl? Why had my son betrayed me like this? <laughs> the first time I saw mi niña was fondijo first. So, I started praying loud. And God is good. God is kind. That is why she left for London. <laughs> An actress and a Jewish princess. No, 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 no. That is not what Jesus and I had discussed for Stephen. <laughs> An actress and a Jewish princess. I was devastated. Did I say that already? <laughs> anyway, Stephen tells me. He wants to go to London to visit her as a Christmas gift from me. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, God must have been busy, huh? So I asked my eldest to go talk to him, to go tell him. Going to visit his actress, Jewish princess, would break my heart. And I would get him a set of golf clubs instead. Mi niña has never forgiven me. Because I was able to convince her true love with a set of golf clubs. <laughs> but I am his mother. I know him. I made him. And besides, it was his choice. It was not my fault. Anyway, five years later, they were married. Five years! What's the difference? And now, I have two niños! Jeroncito, my bendito! Y Mesoncito, with my father's eyes, a toro padron. I know, I know, I know, I know she likes the truth. So I tell her the truth. I got you this oil for your hair, so it won't look so dry. <laughs> you look a little old in the show with your hair like that. The priest told me that you remind him of Mary Magdalene. <laughs> the prostitute? And I let her know, I know, you must be so sad now that your father had died because your mother and your sister are so close. And you're going to be left out. <laughs> I tell her the truth, I don't understand why is she so angry with me. Oh, this one time she invited me over. I was praying that my grandchildren would be there, but oh no, I had angered her. I was not allowed to see my grandchildren. It was worse than leaving Cuba. <laughs> when I get there, 
It was Steven y Susie y Ricardo, mi esposo y yo. We sat at a small table. We had a long talk. No, no, no. She talked. I just grabbed my husband's hand under the table and prayed loudly to myself. She had a list, a piece of paper with a list. This piece of paper. <laughs> she gave a copy for me. After 10 years of marriage, <laughs> I tried to forgive her. Her dad had died. She was upset. How can this not break your heart? Susie's Rus. Susie's Rus. Don't come over uninvited. <gasps> but I am family. I should always be invited. Don't feed my kids dairy. <gasps> but that is like denying my grandchildren childhood. <laughs> Don't bring over seven gifts each night of Hanukkah. Just respect my religion. Huh? Don't try to deck my halls. I know, the, the sussy can be funny sometimes. <laughs> Don't take my kids to the hospital to get their appendix out when all they needed was Alka-Seltzer. No, pero I take them to the hospital because better safe than sorry. <laughs> Don't tell me that everything you want to do with my kids is your dream. Aye, but I am a simple woman with a simple dream to spend time with my grandchildren. <laughs> Don't look at me with those, you know you're going to hell eyes. <laughs> I know, but I don't make the rules. <laughs> God does. And don't, don't, don't tell me that I remind you of Mary Magdalene. I know, but she really does. <laughs> the list was long and detailed, and I could tell. Oh, she wanted her own separate family. She had no idea. A Cuban family? We don't work this way. <laughs> we got rules to follow, tradition to play by. And besides, you're so Cubana. I left Cuba with nothing. All my father's money was stolen by my uncle. And everything we have here, now we worked hard for together. So no, she cannot have her own separate family. Well, my tush was holding her hand. And she is the mother of my grandchildren. <laughs> So, I agreed. Pero when I left, yo dije, Susie, you'll be an abuela one day too. And a mother-in-law, God willing. <laughs> I will try to be more easygoing. If you know Susie, like we know Susie, oh, 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 what a gal. She's not so choosy, no, not Susie. Oh, oh, Susie is a little something funny. So my mom, right? You know she's really cool, yeah. She, she's in New York for uh, an audition. She's on the subway. My mom, she's an actor, dude. I told you that. Come on, she's cool. She my bestie. Yeah. She rollerblades. She dances on trees. She dances in the beach. She dances on the pole. Oh, she saved my life once when I was choking on a blueberry. Doesn't sound scary, but it was. Imagine dying from fruit. <laughs> oh, so anyways, I'm gonna tell you. So she's on the subway in New York because she has this callback for this pharmaceutical commercial, and she um, 
forgot her uh, mask, so she's wrapping her Burberry-ish scarf around her neck, but she remembered her Franca, better safe than sorry. She's on the subway, and this guy starts screaming at her, right? And my mom, she hadn't been on the subway for a while. She did this rookie move. She, like, moved away, and she sat down. And then the guy gets really pissed, right? So he's like walking to her. And he's like, why'd you walk away? Huh? Why'd you walk away? And my mom, she's just sitting there. And you know what? She's so brave. She told me she thought she was gonna be scared, but like, she didn't. She just felt this fire in her belly. And like, he's screaming at her, right? And she's about to freak out. I mean, his mask is around her chin, his chin, and it spits coming out all over the subway, all over my mom's getting showered, right? And like, she just decides to chillax. And she said that the fire just burned off all the gook in her belly. And all of a sudden, she starts thinking about this guy's mom. Yeah. And she starts feeling like, I love you. Yeah. So like, she's like, I love you. I love you. I love you. This guy's eyes, she said they were like really blue. So she's like, I love you. And then the guy's like screaming at her because he couldn't hear her. She was talking with her eyes. She, she's an actress. And he's like, he's like, can't you speak? Can't you speak, you little bitch? He called my mom a little bitch. My mom is not a little bitch. Little bitches go fuck themselves. They can like put their tail between their legs. They don't look you in the eye. I hate little bitches. Anyway, mom can be a bitch. No cat, but not a little bitch. So she's like sitting there and he's screaming at her and then all of a sudden the doors open and uh, he just walks out. And, and my mom doesn't know if like he finally heard her or maybe he thinks that she can't speak. <laughs> She's just so brave. Anyway, she goes to this audition, and the director's like, speak. And she did, because she's an actor. And she got the gig. <laughs> and now my mom, her big smiling eyes are all over posters, all over the subway, and all over the bus stop. And she's saying, don't be a little bitch. Check your colon. <laughs> Macy, you are such an over easy guy. I love about being at college more than the gator games peace and quiet in the morning <laughs> at my house it's my parents favorite time to fight and when they have the most energy to do so you know what it's like waking up to fighting it's annoying so annoying I used to think it was bad I used to worry but my dad said don't worry unless we stop fighting. <laughs> so annoying. You know what else is annoying? My mom's sense of humor. I understand it. Do you follow her on Facebook or Instagram, social media? Right, so you get my point, right? <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you don't follow her. <laughs> to be honest, that'd be nice. I mean, what is she posting anyways? Videos of her on the beach, dancing. Videos of her in trees, dancing. Videos of her on a pole, dancing. My mom posts videos of herself dancing on a pole. I don't get it. It's so annoying. And she's been like that all the time. Like, 
when we play tennis and she misses a ball, she laughs, like hysterical, like something's wrong with her. And, and everybody's looking and it's so embarrassing. And, and I think she was this way the whole time. I remember when I was little and she was teaching me the flashcards and she must have spaced out because she got the grapes and the peas mixed up. And when she found out that I mixed them up, she didn't tell me. So I would go to dinner and order chicken and grapes. And I wanted chicken and peas. And I'd get chicken and grapes. And I'd look at my mom and she'd be laughing. Like hysterical. That's not funny. Is it funny? Okay, wait, there was another time and I was, um, she dropped me off at music class and I was at the glass windows and I'm watching her walk to her car. And she gets in the car, then this other woman comes to the car and knocks on the window and my mom is like, what? And the woman's like freaking out. And the other woman's like, come on. And my mom's like, what? And then it turns out that my mom was in her car. <laughs> My mom just started laughing hysterical. It's not funny. I'm just really, I don't know. It's just I've always had to fix everything, you know? She's always been that way. I've always had to figure everything out. Huh? Let's speak of the... What? Huh? You're dying? Mom, why are you laughing then? Come on. Mom, yes, I can hear you. Mom, just find FaceTime. Mom, Mom you're naked, naked, man. <laughs> Come on, put a towel on. What? Mom, just tell me what happened. What happened, Mom? You ate a key lime? You ate a key lime pie, that's fine. Mom, you're allowed to eat pies. You don't have to be sad about that. Marijuana? You're doing drugs now, Mom? I'm the kid, right? She's the mom. Drugs are bad for you, mom. Why do I have to tell her this? Huh? Yes, I love you, mom. You're the best mom in the whole wide world. I love you too. Yes. What? Passover? Yes, I'm coming home for Passover. Pot Seder? I don't understand. I don't get it. Mom, listen, where's dad? Hmm? Where's dad? Stop laughing. Where's dad? Just, I'm gonna text that. You have to go to the hospital. You don't sound right. I do see you. You are there, mom. Listen, just to be careful, you know, better safe than sorry. I'm gonna call dad, text dad. Okay, I love you. I love you too. But yes, you're the best, you're the best. I know a miracle is taking place. I am here. We are here. And I get to see graduations and marriages 
and births. It is precious and beautiful. I am here. We are here. I was just high. Were we all just high? We share holidays. We make love. We laugh. We fight. We grieve. Passover is going to be lit. for you guys in New York City especially. They're little subway things. What's up? You don't have to touch these little sneezy, sick, gross little poles anymore. So these are Franca's and I would love for you to grab them and then if you do use it, post it for our wonderful sponsor, Franca. Yay! Thank you so much and please join us next door at Shea Josephine's. See Josephine's, yes. yes. Bye. See you. Conocieras a Susie